Hello, everyone. Hi. Hey, Dan, how are you? Just fine, just fine. How's your family doing? Great, thank you for asking. Look at all these peeps. Liz, I hope you're feeling better today. You look fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, it's all, I still have a lingering cough, but I've got more energy. I'm finally able to sleep at night. That was the hardest part. Not COVID, but just the old fashioned cold. Haven't had a cold in two and a half years. <sighs> We know it's lunchtime, but we'd love to have your cameras on so you're fully engaged in our conversation. And we will have you stay on mute unless you're um, speaking or want to share. You can use the, the hand icons or put something in the chat. Welcome everyone. We'll give it just one more minute, get people connected. Thanks for joining us. Larry, I think you're good to go. I'm actually going to let Nicole start. So it's all you, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, everyone. Nice to see y'all. Nice to see some familiar faces and names. Um, my name is Nicole Bass. I'm this year's National Vice President. Um, I graduated from City College in New York this past May. And one of the wonderful things is that um, the president and the vice president get to come to DC and participate in national programming like this with AIA. Um, so one of the wonderful things that I'm super excited for today um, is that like mentorship is probably one of my favorite things. I, I think I have my mentor, uh, I probably have my mentors for about like three or four years throughout my um, architecture education. So it's so nice to kickstart this off with y'all this um, academic year. Um, I'll just maybe premise and just mention that AIS um, is a student-run organization. Um, and then we always have our three pillars of leadership, design, and service. And we just love to you know, continue that off with programs like this. Larry, do you want to add anything else? Sure, thank you. I'm Larry Hoffer. I'm the executive director of AIS. Um, I've been here six months now. So when I started, we were just at the tail end of our last cycle. So, so excited to see this program um, be starting another cycle. And we're really looking forward to your participation and your input um, and your feedback throughout. Um, I think 
I'm a I'm an association person by trade. I'm not an architect. And mentorship has been tremendously important in my career as well. So I am a big supporter of any program that brings students and emerging professionals together with professionals. So we're really looking forward to having you um, in this program. So thanks very much. And I'll turn it over to Helene. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's such a thrill to see uh, so many folks and um, so many mentors who have signed up and uh, then so many students and mentees uh, coming along and working together. I'm really excited about this. Speaking on behalf of AI Virginia, I am the interim executive vice president. Um, and it's just really cool to launch this program for this cycle, for this year. Um, you know, our profession is one that was founded on a, a basis of apprenticeship. And for a while there, a, a bunch of decades, we kind of got out of that habit. Thank goodness it's back in full swing. And this is one of, I think, the preeminent programs in the country uh, for mentorship. The reason I, I believe it is so successful is because we are, in fact, partnering with AIS at the national level to help us and to work with us and to partner with us um, to make this program ever more uh, compelling and meaningful for the participants. So we really thank you, our AIS colleagues, uh, for, for joining in yet again this year to uh, launch us. And then um, our agenda today is really going to focus um, mostly on hearing from you. The agenda is moving forward in the next bunch of months. will be a little more formalized, but today we're just really anxious to hear from um, all of you who are mentors about why you are joining in and why you want to participate. And then from the mentees in particular, um, why did you uh, decide, all of our emerging professionals and students and so forth, why do you uh, need and want to be a part of this program. Um, we're excited about the numbers of folks that are signed up. And um, so we'll hear from you about what success looks like. And then we'll hear from Nicole about what might a success might look like as a collective. And then um, Kathy will jump in to talk about our next steps, what the next set of meetings look like and so on. So. Um, excited to hear from from all of you. So, Larry, back to you on our purpose and desired outcomes and all that good stuff. Sure. Thanks so much. And we are tremendously grateful to AIA Virginia for allowing AIS to participate and doing so much of the legwork on this program. And Kathy, um, for those of you who don't know her, is just tremendous. And, uh, you know, really the the life of this program and the the, the heart of this program. So um, so you'll all who don't know her will realize that very quickly, um, as I have very quickly. Um, really, again, as Feline said, the, the the most important thing about today's call and this program is is bringing together emerging professionals and professionals. Um, we obviously have things that we want to accomplish over this year, but the most important thing is the relationship that you will build with your mentee um, and your mentor. Um, we do a lot of different programs at AIS where we do bring together students and professionals, and we always hear that those are the most valuable things. Um, so, so really, we want you to tell us um, throughout this year, what you like, what works, what doesn't work. Um, what we're going to do in just a minute is ask both the students and the mentors why you chose to participate this year. And what I, I think will be great is using your answers as a benchmark so that at the end of this cycle next summer, we can look at those answers and make sure that we accomplished what each of your goals was. So um, we're just really excited to hear from you today. Um, and um, I know, Kathy, do you want to go over the schedule? Because that's the last little piece of my thing. Sure. Thanks, Larry. We have 
drafted up uh, a schedule here for our school year uh, that includes, of course, today's kickoff meeting uh, to get you all rolling. And um, then we follow up with some of the uh, same topics that we've learned over the last few years um, have been successful. We're excited about our November session because we're going to turn the tables uh, on our mentors and students. We're going to have the students critique mentors work. So uh, we'll follow up with that at the end if we've got some willing mentors uh, willing to put their work on the line. But that's that's always uh, very fun and interesting. We'll skip December with all the busyness of your school year and the end of the year, and we'll meet again in January um, for personally my favorite session with about licensure and everything you wanted to know and maybe some stuff you didn't want to know, but all the different paths, all the different resources, um, we're gonna share it all about that in January. February, we're gonna dive into resumes, portfolios and interview uh, work. Hopefully so those are some things that you're gonna go over one-on-one -on -one with your mentor. Um, we're gonna talk about it uh, as a group, what experiences have been. We're gonna ask some folks to um, show us their work and their resumes and uh, be willing to take some critique on those items to see what's working out there in the real world. Then in March, uh, we're gonna get together some different firm size leaders for you to discuss what life in a firm is like in terms of uh, firm size, small, medium and large firms. I think we'll also have some sole practitioners uh, be able to share too uh, what that firm culture and firm life is like, depending on the size of the firm. And then in April, we get to celebrate. We get to celebrate uh, the new relationships that you have, all the knowledge you've gained, all of the experience you've shared uh, with the next generation. And we're going to talk about alternative careers. Uh, we have a good 20% of our membership at AI Virginia is in alternative careers. And uh, we want to share some of those stories with you to give you some inspiration and ideas um, about what options are out there. So that's what our year looks like. Excellent. Thank you so much, Kathy. I know um, one of the significant components of AIS's strategic plan is, is um, introducing our members to what we're calling adjacent career paths. So uh, this will be that'll be a tremendously valuable session. So as promised, we're not going to do all the talking now. Um, it's time to hear from you. And I don't remember, because I don't have the agenda right in front of me, which group is first. Um, some of someone that has the agenda in front of them, Kathy or Aline. Mentees first. Mentees, see, thank you for, thanks for audience participation. So, <laughs> so we'd like to hear from the mentees that are here. Um, don't be shy. There are obviously no wrong answers because this is a program that we're building around all of you. So um, we'd love to hear from you about why you decided to sign up for this program this year. So, so if you want to raise your hand using the reactions function, then we can call on you. So that way we don't have everybody speaking over each other. Sarah. Hi, um, I'm Sarah Weiner. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this was mainly to get more acquainted with other architects in my area. And I'm a fourth year student, so there's a whole lot of things that I don't know about this field. And so having somebody to guide me through the more technical aspects of things, um, I think would be really helpful. Terrific, thank you so much. Michaela. Hi, I'm Michaela. Um, I joined this program because um, this is our or my last year as an undergraduate student um, to have a little bit of insight into the professional realm as well as grad school and kind of just, um, I don't know, someone to offer me advice as I work through the next couple months. 
Thank you. I know there are more than two. Oh, good, good. Megan. Hi, um, my name is Megan. Um, I am in the uh, three-year master's program right now. So I did an undergrad in economics and went back to school to study architecture. Um, so I'm two, I'm in the second year of a three-year program. So I'm feeling the crunch. Like I have a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Um, and I think I am someone who tends to sort of struggle in silence. So realizing that there are people who have been there before me and are willing to help and guide is um, something I'm really looking forward to taking advantage of and learning from. So I'm, I'm very excited. Great, thank you so much. I know there's more than three mentees on this call. So we'd love to hear from more of you. Kayla, please. Hello, I don't have my camera right now, sadly, but um, I go to Virginia Tech. I'm in my last year of undergrad and I've been working on my thesis. Um, I joined this program really to just help establish connections and to ask questions and just for some extra help because um, I know I'm planning on going into graduate school. Um, I think establishing connections is one of the most important things that I can do right now as a student. So. Definitely. Thanks so much, Kayla. Anyone else would like to share why you chose to sign up? Nobody bites here, you know, it's it's all... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so we can start with the, um, I, I don't, um, I just see D Cummings. I don't know your first name. I apologize. So, Yeah, Dennis, um, I, I have to jump off at 1230. So I, I figured I'd come in here. I'm a mentor. Uh, I just wanted to give these guys a little bit of who I am. And I've already talked to my guy. He's reached out to me last night. Um, I, you know, I've been, I'm an architect from originally from New York City, been doing this 31 years now, but I'm in Richmond here at uh, HDR large firm, very large firm. And uh, when I came out of college, you know, the Gulf War 91 uh, was bad recession and there was nobody hiring and I did not have a chance to talk to any architects. So that's why I'm doing this is to help these guys because it's a crazy world out there. So I want to help you do what you need to do. I, 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 love, I love sharing my knowledge. So that's what I'm doing. It. Well, we're tremendously lucky that that people like you are willing to share their knowledge. So um I guess since we'll start, we've started with the mentors. Dan, you're on mute. There you go. Got it. Um, my name's Dan File. I've always worked in public service, except for a summer stint at John Cole Warnicke's office, which is now defunct. Um, I I love public work. I have never had a mentor, I sought people out. And the closest I got was an architect telling me when I worked for the Navy in Spain, in Madrid, he just pointed to the window and said, it's a cold, cruel world out there. And that was all I got. Um, and I think it's, it's unfortunate. School is one experience, but the outside world's another. And as Dennis just said, I, I'd like to help some people who are coming, facing it for the first time to just kind of give them a heads up of what they're facing so that they can deal with it better and hopefully make the profession better at the same time. I am, by the way, an alternative career in that I've always worked in public service and still managed to get fellowship in the AIA. Well, there Thank you, you go. Thank you so much, Dan. Joseph McCoy, please. Yeah, uh, greetings, um, Joseph McCoy. My mentee, Michaela, is on the call. She just spoke a minute ago, so. Greetings, Michaela. And um, yeah, we, we already found out something in common we're going to talk a little bit more about because I started my career overseas and she's interested in grad school somewhere other than the US. So that'll be an interesting start off point. Um, this will be my third year in this program. And then I've done other kinds of mentoring. And I think any of the mentors on here who've done this before would echo that it's a two way street. Um, we always learn a fair amount ourselves. It's not just us giving advice. It, there's a, a fair amount that we learn about what current students care about or apprehensive about or interested in and all that kind of thing. 
so it, um, I'm really interested to find out something new that I don't even know I don't know yet. <laughs> um, so thanks again for organizing. It, it's always interesting to find out the things that you don't know you don't know. Um, so, and we all could benefit from that, definitely. Um, Jason. Good afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Jason Slatinsky. I'm a design principal at Little Diversified Architectural Consulting. We're based in Charlotte, but we have offices um, here in DC, obviously, and um, in North Carolina, Florida. I'm, uh, I've been in the profession for about 15 years. I was actually a professor for a little while and actually, and I have an undergrad degree in engineering and then worked my, well, worked my way into a master's program for architecture. And um, I did have some mentors from time to time, um, but I think the important part of being a mentor is just the continuity and the sharing of growth over time um, and how we become better, better civilians, better designers, better architects. And what I'm looking forward to is I'm gonna be um, partnering with Kayla. So we, had a, we have a Michaela and a Kayla. Um, and to me, the important part is just understanding, you know, where our students are coming from and how they're gonna help shape the culture of our industry in the next 20, 40 years. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that uh, conversation and just simply sharing ideas, um, coming in with a fresh take on, on reality. You know, I've been in the profession for about 15, 20 years, so I'm quite seasoned and maybe a little cynical, but every now and then just group, uh, getting together with someone who has a fresh take on things really helps establish a strong reciprocity and, and everyone can move forward. Thanks so much. Any other? mentors or mentees who were too shy to initially speak but now feel more comfortable? Maury? Yeah, um, I was hoping to jump in first because my mentee jumped in first. So thank you, Sarah, for taking that initiative. So I'm Maury Saunders. Um, uh, I uh, entered this program last year and was very, very pleased with the formal the 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 order and the formality of it, because uh, I had been a, a mentor informally and informally uh, throughout my career. I never had a mentor, and I want to offer this and uh, to um, to someone to help. Uh, what I'd like to say, and what I tried to voice uh, last year, was um, this is a community. Um, so if uh, anyone wants to reach out to other mentors in conjunction with your own mentor, uh, I welcome that. Um, so uh, with regard to um, why I'm here, uh, it's really to share my um, varied career, uh, you know, beyond practicing architecture, you know, similar to what Dan said, I've been in public sector, I've been in corporate, you know, um, corporate high-tech America, as well as practicing. But the I'll leave this with um, the reason uh, that I'm participating is the fact that the teaching and the learning is really the essence of being a practicing professional. So I, I learn from the mentee. I try to teach and guide the men, mentee, but uh, I, I get as much out of this as they probably do. Um, so I'll leave that with you. Thank you so much, Maury. John. You're on mute, John. Well, I'm happy to participate um, um, in this program. And, and this is actually the second year I've done this. Um, so um, I'm um, interested in um, uh, sharing my experience with my mentee who's also on this call. And um, I'd like to um, uh, um, learn from her as well. I mean, I, um, it, like you say, it's, it's always interesting to find out uh, stuff that you don't know that you didn't know. Uh, and uh, that's something that uh, um, I think the, 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 the students can, can, can share with the mentees as well. And I'm also um, uh, kind of amazed at the technology. I mean, this, you know, the fact that we can do this on Zoom is, is just a, a blessing because um, in my career, I did have um, people that I regarded as, as uh, mentors, but um, I never really um, um, had a, a chance to to expand out beyond the, the the firm the firms that I worked in, so so I'm looking forward to this experience. Thanks. Thank you very much, Liz. Hi, I'm Liz Sloan. Uh, this is my second year doing this program, 
I am a sole proprietor. I live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I went to UVA with and got a master's degree. I, and I'm also a past president of AIA Central Virginia. And I think it's just really important to support other architects and emerging professionals at all stages of their career. And mentoring is an especially important thing for young women in my point of view, because it is a male, unfortunately, it continues to be a very male dominated profession. And I found last year, I really enjoy, I would like, it's really, I find it very exciting and energizing to participate in this program. It gives me enormous hope in the future. And without, um, we need to support and encourage the young architects and, and the work that we saw last year was so fun. And I'm just really looking forward to getting to know my mentee. And, and I do stress that you can reach across to other men, you know, mentors and, and this is a network and I was able to help my mentee last year find a um, internship and then to help her direct her to you know get leads for summer jobs. So you know it's just the beginning of developing your network and becoming a you know more polished professional. So um, I think this is a wonderful program and I thank AIA Virginia and Kathy and Helene for leading this in the AIAS National for getting involved. Thanks so much, Liz. Cheyenne. Hi, everyone. I'm Cheyenne. I'm a mentee, I guess. <laughs> and, and I wanted to, I was walking across campus, so I had to have my uh, camera off. So sorry about that. But I'm finally at studio. And I just wanted to say that I joined AIAS mentorship program to gain connections with the architecture community outside of the academic world. And I also am graduating this year. So I was looking at grad schools and I was hoping for graduate advice as to what to do in the future. Nice to meet you all. Thanks so much, Cheyenne. Jess. Hey, I'm uh, Jess Gardner. Um, this is my second year being a mentor. Um, and I, I volunteer because I'm huge into knowledge sharing and sharing of resources and sharing of information and experience. And I've often found that like within architecture, um, it can be kind of a siloed within your own firm and uh, there's competition and <laughs> some egos to deal with. And so uh, joining this is to help break down that um, sort of culture as well as um, bring some other representation as being non-binary and queer um, and, and just kind of trying to expand uh, the community and the um, awareness of uh, and, and, and experience and knowledge uh, of, of architecture of different um, practices of different sizes of firms and markets and, and kind of everything. So um, excited to be part of this. Thank you so much. The word that I keep hearing is community. And, uh, you know, that that's so important. Obviously, we join professional associations in part for community. And I know that that's one thing that we've definitely tried to build um, among AIS members is that sense of community and that sense of connection. So it's good that now that everyone will have sort of another community in which to, on which to rely. Um, is there anybody else who would like to share uh, either mentors or mentees why you've chosen to participate in this program? Even if it's the exact same reasons that you've heard before? Jim, oh, real quick. Okay, great. Jim Woody, I'm an associate principal at Perkins and Will. Uh, my passions are construction contract administration and mentoring. And as an illustration of that, uh, I moved to Charlottesville to oversee a new patient tower back in 2015. We finished up last year uh, during the pandemic. I think I gave, I facilitated about 75 tours of the project using it as a tool for learning. I recognize several of you from those tours, so thank you for participating. Uh, but being promoted last year to associate principal had, you know, I had the ability to reflect back on my mentors and it's something that I want to pay forward. So this is my third year in the program. Um, excited to be here. And I'm reminded of what one of our studio professors told us first year, which was, 
make sure you meet everyone in your first year studio because you're going to continue to see them throughout your career. And, you know, every time I go to a conference, I'm constantly reminded of how small the world is uh, relative to this career. So I, I thrive off of creating connections and that's why I participate in this is I love seeing that moment when it's, you can align two people and they can, you know, have a future together. So thank you for having me and I'm thankful to be a part of the program. Thank you, Chris. Yes, hi, my name is Chris Fox. I'm the Vice President of Architecture and Building Science for Van Meter Corporation. And I have two reasons for kind of wanting to do this. This is my second year, is that, um, you know, I do run a basically firm within a corporation, which is a very different track. So we deal with production building and renovations on a large scale. So I just want to make it clear to people that there is many ways you can be an architect, licensed architect, and still work in architecture that's very different than the traditional firm. Uh, that's number one. And then number two, you know, I've hired probably over 65 people over the last 10 years. So, um, you know, I kind of have a good experience with what we're looking for in an architect that's being hired, and it'd be nice to kind of pass that along. But the final one, which I know I just said two, but the final one is that, you know, I am a mentor within my corporation as well. We had the system set up for about 10 years now, and uh, it's kind of a, it's a good way to keep fresh and talk to different people from the corporation, and why not do it for the architects as well? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. You know, what's so great to hear is how many mentors are participating for a second or a third year. And what that should show the mentees is that, you know, obviously you can learn from anybody regardless of how many years they're in the program or they've been in the profession, but that obviously they believe in this program and the value of this program. So you can be sure that it will be a valuable um, opportunity for you. So take advantage of that however you can. Um, if there is nobody else that would like to share, we can move on to um, defining success. And I'll turn that back over to Nicole. Can I jump in and make one comment? Um, because of the success of the program, I'm actually still meet, because of the success and the relationship that was built last year with my mentee, we are actually still meeting, <laughs> you know, biweekly. So uh, thank you for this program. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so great to hear everyone like chime in on like reasons why you joined, because honestly, that's like the same reason I was joining when I was like a freshman or a sophomore in my like New York City um, mentorship programs. And, you know, defining success is such a interesting like subject because it's like for each mentorship and each relationship you have with you, your mentors or mentees, it's really like what you guys decide is like comfortable for you. Um, so there's like always um leaning back on the lines of communication and being clear of like, hey, I'm super busy this like few months, either on on either sides, because maybe maybe the mentors got a huge project or, you know, midterms are coming up. So then like switching to um, either monthly hang like hangouts or, you know, doing weekly meetings if you guys are nearby each other. So always like working out together um, this work, the schedules and how that fits with one another. Um, one of the things that I that was pretty successful um, in my personal mentorships, as well as like my friends and their mentors was, you know, just also a line of honesty and vulnerability. Sometimes it's scary to ask questions to each other. Um, sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes you're like, uh, I feel like I should already know this, but I don't know it. So I need to ask somebody. Um, so always providing like a safe space for each other to ask those types of questions, as well as, um, you know, trying to be respectful and honest with those types of answers. Um, and then I'll maybe say one more thing in terms of defining success is that, and echoing what Larry mentioned earlier, is that it's honestly a lot of about giving back feedback on this program and like what works, what you, you love about it, what doesn't work so well and how we could help with that. And, you know, Kathy and I and um, Larry and Hel Helene are always there to support, but, you know, figuring those things out. Um, and again, like community is like community and networking is like the words that everyone keeps repeating. So definitely lean on each other, um, lean on, you know, 
getting to know one another and like you know we're all human at the end of the day before we're architects so just being mindful of that and um really enjoying this year together um and i think i'll hand it off to kathy for next steps thank you nicole and Thank you, Larry, for leading that discussion. Oh, I was really inspired and had some goosebump moments there from both sides. I just, I'm so appreciative of the time um, y'all are giving to this and the effort um, and just showing up today and showing up throughout this process. Um, and I'm so grateful, Corey Claiborne, our previous EVP, he's now at National AIA. Um, he's a mentor this year. He happens to be in a conference right now, but he will be uh, joining us for our group sessions too. And he was the one who saw uh, this need back in 2020 when we had students graduating right into a pandemic, um, which was extremely challenging. And some of that remains. So um, I just want to talk a minute about uh, where we go from here. Um, all of you should have received now a pairing, uh, an email that shows you the responses from your mentor or your student that came from uh, Helene's assistant, Joanna Dryling, uh, who helped us out in making all those matches. We have 33 matched sets. Um, it's not a science, it's a guess. So uh, please be open and I will put my email right in. Obviously, I can't do two things at once. There we go. In the chat, if you have a match that just isn't working for you for whatever reason or whatever side, um, we will be happy to rematch you. Or maybe there's someone you've reached out to who isn't getting back to you. Um, like Nicole said, sometimes it's busyness and sometimes it's just a, a change of heart and it's just not going to work. So um, please do reach out to us if you have any concerns or questions. Some of our mentors will take on multiple mentees in a year. I appreciate that. We are still looking for a few mentors. So I challenge our AI Virginia members to maybe find another person that wants to mentor a student. I still have a few students waiting to be connected. Again, you can just email me that information. So um, you all reminded me that I want to add another resource uh, to our resource page. And I'd like to show you that page now. When you go to the AIA Virginia website, which is AIAVA.org, there's an education tab. And the bottom item under here says universities. And there you'll find a program page for this program, explaining a little of the why. And these are the signups. So many of you have seen this page because you've clicked and signed up either on the mentor side or the student side. And then what we do on this page is share with you the videos of our recorded sessions. You'll find the last two years worth um, on this page. So if there's something you're just dying to watch, uh, you can do that at your leisure. We also share on here the meeting schedule that Larry reviewed with you. So here's a PDF of the meeting schedule. I will go ahead after our session ends today and send you individual meeting requests for these dates so that they're on your calendar. We also compiled a resource page and we're always adding to this. So if you have something you wanna add, um, some links to professional associations and licensure information, leadership development, fellowships, credentialing, and positioning yourself to land the position you want. Those have been some things that we've gathered over the last couple of years. So you feel free to, to look at that. And what I'll add on here is the contact information for all of our mentors. I'll do a name and an email and maybe their location. If you'd like to reach out to another mentor uh, in your area or someone who is at a different size firm or a different type of firm, um, I'll put that, that spreadsheet on here for you guys too. So again, videos, notes, resources, signups. I just wanted to share that page with you on there to talk about that. Um, one other thing I wanted to add to what does success look like? I heard some really nice stories about um, visits to firms, 
participation in a project meeting or even a staff meeting to get a feel for what goes on. So uh, don't be afraid to ask, is there something I can attend, whether virtually or in person? Or don't be afraid to offer, is there something you'd like to attend or know more about? So I think with that, I have shared what I wanted to share. Again, thank you so much. We're so appreciative. Uh, you guys are what makes this successful. So with that, we'll open it up to other comments and questions and um, probably give you a few minutes back to your day. So please feel free to come off of mute and ask any questions or any comments you'd like. I just wanna say how terrific I think the program is. I agree with the people who spoke before and said that you get as much back as you give. And I think people don't often realize that. They think, you know, a lot of times even when you give to uh, some organization or group, you know, or aren't you a wonderful person? And the fact is sometimes I've said it's more like constructive selfishness. You you get a lot back too. And I and of all the things that I've been involved with the, with the AIA, this is one of the things I have found the most satisfying and the most gratifying because it does help you to, um, as other people have said, um, help some people along the way and give some people what you didn't get or pay back, pay forward what you did get either way. And um, it's, I appreciate the opportunity that the program, program gives. I think this is my third year with it and I, I really like it. And it's much better organized than another mentoring program that I was with, involved with, it was local. There's not a heavy structure to this one, but there's enough that it gives you uh, an armature or structure to, to hang your, your conversations on. It stimulates and it doesn't control. I think it works very well. And that's why I came back. Thank you, Dan. I'll put, I'll put a check in the mail to you. That was awesome. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully that gets you a promotion or at least yeah. you know, yeah, a salary. Yeah, really. <laughs> I got I have this recorded for posterity. I am. Um, I wanted to say too. Um, expectations are that you would, uh, you know, initially obviously reach out to your to your pair, um, and also try to connect every couple of weeks. You're going to find a rhythm for what works for both sides of your party. But I don't know if anybody wants to share their experience on either end about um, how often they want to meet or connect. Or I'll open that up, John. Well, um, just to reflect a little bit on my um, uh, previous men mentee, um, she um, was a, um, a tech student who uh, was from China and um, she made the decision to return to China uh, following um, our uh, mentor experience. But um, um, it really gave me a, a, a glimpse into what it's like to be a student today. and. Uh, so, but I, but I had a question about the product, you know, is there any kind of a, um, you know, a report or a summary or, you know, um, um, responses that um, you're looking for um, as a, at the end of this program in, in April or May? And uh, if not, you know, maybe the product is no product. So if you, if you could really uh, fill that in, uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, John. I think um, Larry uh, touched on this. We will ask for some feedback uh, when April comes around. And we really use that to uh, regenerate, um, change the program if needed. But the real outcomes deliverables are the relationships um, and you know bolstering the profession. So, but we will ask for some feedback and we do, um, like Larry said, take that very seriously and take a look at the um, programming we offer in these few group meetings and how it's structured to hopefully um, make it an easy lift for everyone. Kathy, could I jump in real quick um, to answer your question about um, uh, how often we meet? We've set up just a, a half an hour and we meet bi-weekly. So we don't wanna, you know, we've acknowledged that it's uh, an hour is too long, but a consistency and a schedule at an appointed time is great. Uh, I will leave this as kind of with a parting thought um, from the kind of pure business perspective in terms of customer vendor. Uh, it's important for mentors to acknowledge that the, the mentee is your customer. So instead of telling them what they you think they wanna hear, 
ask them what they want to hear. So keep asking that question that, uh, you know, listen to them, acknowledge and make sure uh, what you're telling them they they want to hear and keep visiting, you know, am I, am I helping you or not? So. Great feedback. Thank you, Maury. Liz, I see your hand up. Um, I just wanted to mention that I know last year the student, my mentee, was just very overwhelmed by the studio requirements and she just felt she didn't have the time to meet. And you can just meet for five or 10 minutes and you can get something from it. And I think the more you put into the relationship and the, the more you're going to get from it, and it's sort of, you know, it's a two way street, but short meetings are fine. So don't be afraid to just say I'm busy, but you know, can we just keep it, you know, and, and maybe think of an agenda. What are the items? What are the topics you want to cover? And, and then you can have, and then maybe create some metrics for what you're working on. Like if you know you're trying to get a job in the summer, you could start looking at your resume and start sharing that, talk about experiences, start thinking about where your strengths and weaknesses are, what, um, areas you want to pursue, but the more you connect with your mentor, the more you'll get from this. So. Amen. Love that. Love that. I um, do want to mention while we're um, wrapping up these comments that if you are a mentor and you'd like to share some work at our next meeting, would you put your name and firm in the chat for me? We'll reach out. And um, if you're open to being critiqued, that would be amazing. Okay, Nicole. Yeah, I just wanted to piggyback on what Liz was mentioning and saying that like I definitely had those moments where I'm like, I can't even think past six, like two o'clock, like the next class. And it was always helpful to have those like short conversations of someone who like isn't in the studio craze and ask like, how did you take care of yourself when, you know, you can't think of like the next day and a lot of the, you know, I just got such amazing advice on how different people take like take care of themselves, like physically, mentally, and, you know, just, you know, um, getting enough sleep as well. So just wanted to put that out there. Joe, go ahead. Uh, others have talked about the format of, of um, the way that we meet in these uh, larger group sessions. So if this year is like the last couple of years, there tends to be a couple of themes that are um, uh, the focus for meetings. So what my mentee and I did last year is uh, we just had our follow-up meeting on the same topic. So we met the week after we had these meetings, and that was a way for us to just go into that topic a little bit more detail since the, the other presentations or the other meetings tend to be more of a presentation um, and less for open dialogue or there's maybe there's too many people to have a full conversation. So that was a way for us to just have an automatic thing to talk about is you know, whatever the presentation was the week prior. So if, if nothing else comes up, you can always do that. Thank you very much. That's very, very good. So, okay. Helene, Larry, Nicole, have we covered it all? I'm getting thumbs up. Okay. Well, that's your team. Uh, the four of us are here for your success. Um, me in particular, uh, reach out to me if there's anything you need along this process. Again, our next meeting will be in November. And Nobody is being brave and putting their name in the chat. That's <laughs> all right. That's all right. You can email me. Everybody knows me. So email me. Otherwise, I'm going to start reaching out. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you all very much. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks, Thanks so much for your time, everybody. Nice to meet everybody. Thanks, okay. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.